Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Computer Craft and today I'm going to do a refresh on my older videos about how to get Aero back in Windows 10 and this time it's in the Windows Creators update. So this works for build 15,063 only and make sure you don't try this on any other builds because it probably won't work and it may damage your PC. So to check which build you're currently on Go ahead and uh, press Windows key and R on your keyboard, which will open a, win, uh, a run prompt. And go ahead and type this command in. After you've done that, you can just quickly see what build you're on. Next, go ahead and open the links in the description and download the following files. So make sure you download this 64-bit Windows version. Now, although it does say 32-bit, um, the current version for 15,063 does not work with 32-bit computers. So after you download that, go ahead and download this. And after that, uh, to download this, uh, right-click, save as, remove the .txt at the end, and just put this to all files, and click save. So after you've done uh, downloading these three files, go to the Windows C drive, and make a folder called Aeroglass. I'll go ahead and make a new folder. Um, it doesn't really mean, uh, matter if you write it differently, just, just call it something. And make sure it's in Windows C. So go ahead and open this folder and hit Ctrl N to make another Windows Explorer window. Go into your download folder and open the, the zip file. Make sure you have something like 7-zip or WinRAR to be able to view the file. Go ahead and just copy these files into the folder and make sure you don't actually open anything yet. Um, go to the second file and replace the one that you just placed in here. And after that, go ahead and put the schedule.bat inside here. Now it's pretty much installed and what you want to do is go ahead and double click on schedule.bat to be able to launch it. So I'm going to delete this old folder and I'm going to go back to my original one. So what you want to do is right click and run as administrator. Click yes. And you'll get a couple of errors but it's completely fine. And then error should be enabled. So as you can see, you can see through the window. Um, looks quite nice. Now, if it doesn't work for you the first time, what you want to do is just close this window, which will cause it to restart the error effect. There we go. And you can see the error effects through the top of the glass windows. Now, if you don't want the watermark to be here at the bottom right corner, you can go ahead and purchase a premium license by donating around 3 or $5 to Glass 8. Uh, which will give you a donation key which you copy and paste into your Windows C Aeroglass folder and that will remove this watermark. Now to be able to stop the service, go ahead and right click on the taskbar, go to task manager and go to Aeroglass extension loader and click end task. After you've done this, you can just close this window, it should go black for a second and Aeroglass will be disabled. To completely uninstall it, just go ahead to your Windows C drive and delete the Aeroglass folder. Now to be able to run this on startup, what you want to do is go back to Windows Run and type in the command you saw in the beginning, which is shell startup. Go ahead and click OK. After this, go back to your Aeroglass folder and what you want to do is make a shortcut for the schedule.bat by right clicking, create shortcut. Now cut this and simply paste it into the startup folder. After doing this, whenever you start up your computer, it will automatically begin the program and your error effect will be re-enabled. So if, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and post them in the comment section. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And make sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching.